From Act One, Scene Two of The Phantom of Menace from William Shakespeare's Star Wars by Ian Dosher. A person young is thought to have no power, even when she is a queen as like myself. Those older do surround, air pressing in and questioning every word that I do speak. One thinks I shall a poor decision make. Another thinks himself more competent. The best of them do bow and show respect and treat me with the deference due my throne. Yet even their eyes speak of disbelief. Their courtesy becomes a stinging thing. A youth is no more frail than older folk, no less intelligent, no less sublime. There are steps are newer, yet we are no jewel to be protected and encased by them. We know of violence in life's harsh ways. Our tears descend in grief as their tears do. We are not made of softer stuff than they. The moods we feel oft run irate and rough. We have no thoughts less noble than our elders. In truth, compassion may we ably teach. Then why is it thought that youth are so beneath those older than we are of any rank? Tis foolishness, yea, tis foul treachery. If ere these older ones could look within and plumb the depths of youth, what wonders would before their eyes appear? The courage, strength, and valor it requires to be a youth. The daily struggle to survive amid the thousand constant doubts we do receive from every person, in those who are dear. Here, the ever-present skirmishes with those of our own age who should support and praise us, bound within the sacred bond of youth, but who instead do injure with harsh words. To be a youth within a world run by an older generation taketh strength. Yea, beyond that a hundred elders might. To be both youth and leader truly is to be a target ever in their sights. I would not trade my station for the world, nor would I wish it on mine enemy. Although the path is fraught, this is our cause. We youth shall mold the future we desire. Holy bejesus. That was really, really good. Uh, excuse me. I need to gather myself for a moment because that was really, really good. Um, and Mayama yeah. Dallas says trans rights. <laughs> she, she, yes, she does. You know, they added a trans clone trooper recently. Is this a Bad Batch thing or? No, it's, a, it's, a, it's in one of the books, I think, but it's amazing. Uh, hmm. <laughs> anyway, um, it's, uh, that was fabulous. Uh, there's actually a group of Star Wars fans right now uh, who are raising money for the same cause uh, and they're calling themselves the Amidala Initiative. So uh, that was perfectly on point. Well done and excellently chosen, Sam. They were in large part an inspiration and I have given to them and <laughs> spread the love. As many people who are raising money for this as possible, let's do that because yes. I have been, for, I spent two years as Greg Abbott and Ken Paxton's constituent. And let me say to the two of them from the bottom of my heart, you are horrible, horrible people. And I can't wait for the wasp nostrils to get you in the bad place. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. Um, Sam, if they want to find more about you, where can they go? So I have a YouTube channel here, La Femme Fictionale. You can search me. I am also on Twitter under the label Femme Fictionale, but I currently need to approve Twitter requests because long story short, somebody was being a creep and I felt oh. unsafe. Super fun. Be nice Love on the internet. That. There's too much cruelty. Just be nice. Well, thank you for that awesome monologue. It's super true. The kids are going to save the world, but we're going to do what we can to help on the way. And we got to $600 during your monologue. So thank you for that. Um, 